Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content where today we're going to be taking a uh, Rail Freight Livery Class 92 uh, along the West Coast Main Line for a express freight run, supposedly, heading off to uh, Moss End. Uh, before we carry on, I'd like to give a huge mention to David Miller, who was kindly donated to the channel, so uh, thank you ever so much for that. Uh, he's included the message, and apparently he can't comment on my videos. I have no idea why. I am not in control of that. I've not put any settings on. So I I will have a play with my settings and see if there's something I can do, but um, I generally don't understand why that hasn't worked. But um, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found uh, down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. Uh, if you have any route recommendations or trains you'd like to see me drive, then please let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. I have tried this scenario um, up till I got to Carstairs, basically just to get a feel for things. So um, I've got a couple of screenshots already, so I might not try hunting for it for the moment and just basically see how we get on. That's the AI sorting out the HST and getting ready. I don't know why it shows me this. I think it shows me a 47 as well, so um, a bit weird. There's our 92. Okay, welcome aboard. This is the 1216 northbound freight service from Carlisle, and you have joined for the last leg into Moss End. An intercity service has halted our progress, but will hopefully pass through shortly. Once it has, you will be clear to proceed to the destination. Excellent. All right, so what I need to do first is stick that in. Otherwise, uh, we have all, all manner of problems. Uh, I then want to do... Acknowledge that. Take that off. Okay, right. Headlights. So there. Instrument lights, that's fine. The headlight, fine. Nothing else that I need on there. Cab lights, I'm not too worried about cab lights. I don't actually need them on. Uh, brakes are good. Up outside, yep, that's absolutely fine. Put the wipers on. There we go. There goes the HST. Not as that, otherwise I'm in trouble. And uh, yeah, it's literally now just a case of waiting. Literally there's nothing else we can do at this stage of proceedings, it's uh, just by the way this thing out. I'm going to keep the brakes on until we, until we go off. Weather's completely pants, but that goes without saying. Passenger goods break timing. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay, right. So, just release that. Okay. That was a significant jolt. Ah, 
nice little mixed contest that we've got going off there, so uh, all is well. 47 coming down with the coal train. Sat right at the back of the 92 now, so uh, try not to get your head locked off by the wagons. Okay, and we can just start accelerating away. Five limit coming up, or just past anyway, that doesn't actually affect us. And there should be an 87. So we've got 14 miles till we get Carstairs, and I, I ran this scenario up to Carstairs basically, so I uh, just got familiar with everything. And what have we got? It's an 87 speed limit, I think. For the most part, we ended up doing about 84, give or take. Okay, so we're at 85. I think it does, depending on where we get onto the West Coast Mono, I think we do hit 87 at some point. I will nip out the cab down again, but uh, I'm quite content to sit in for the moment. Primarily because of that problem. I've nipped out the cab before and I get, I get visual warnings to let me know when it's going off. I'll acknowledge it. And the past two times I've tried this scenario, it's just killed the train on me. I've not been able to get it to move at all, basically doing like a control alt delete and it just was not playing ball. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. I know we do pass some other trains on our journey, but I can't actually remember what they are. In fact, I'm sure you... Um, actually, no. I can turn off this, but I'm not going to, I think. I'll, I'll keep it on. Just adds a, adds a little bit more fun to it.
It's a bit, it's a bit jerky in here, isn't it? How's the front? How's the front looking? Are we looking good? It's not too bad. I think what I may do, every time I get the little thing pop up, I may just nip into the cabin and acknowledge it. At least I, I know it's dealt with that way, otherwise I could be in a world of hurt. Up to the back. Heavy haulage. Jolly good. Oh, hello. Yep, that's fine. Casually crashing over the points. I accept that, then press the enter, or space even, to um, turn the horn, weirdly, but that's one, that's one way to acknowledge it. Seven. Thank you. Okay, has the rain stopped? I think it has. It stopped for the moment, then it will restart at some point, so uh, we'll just, we'll keep, and pardon the pun, a weather eye out. There you see, thought about this, thought about all these clever little puns. Steady 85 miles an hour. I think this thing does have like a max speed setting. Yeah, I'm not actually going to fiddle with it. I'm going to keep things as manual as possible. What I don't actually know is if I have to pull over at any stage to make way for another, other trains behind me. As things stood up to I got to cast as I didn't it's absolutely fine 
I think there was a speed limit once I hit car so I think it was like 60 miles an hour or something. Well, I've got a mile to go. Mm, I don't know then. Nope, we don't. Okay, never mind. Oh, it was the 90 limit for the express trains, that's the one. So I'm just going to wrap it through without any problems. HST coming down. Face for the flag. Let's just not hip out, nip out the cab even. Fly under the catenary. Now we're going to sit just about here. Thank you. Okay, so twelve miles to go before we go through our um, pusher. As I say, I've, I've got screenshots at the start of this, so I'll keep it at that. Then um, we'll see what happens once we get to uh, to Moss End, we can do, if there's anything screenshot related up there. But for the most part, we're going to sit inside the cab. We may nip out every now and again. Now, up, up until this point, I do not know... Wow. I now no longer what to expect. No, even that's wrong. That's a horrible sentence you tried to string together. Do you want to try that one again? Yes. I don't know what else we're going to see. There you go. That's what you wanted to say. Okay, put the windscreen wipers back on, over the level crossing. Don't really think there's going to be any speed limits at this point that are going to affect me. Mind you, there's a junction uh, not a million miles up ahead, so that, that might, uh, might do it. I can't remember the name of it, but I know it will be there. That doesn't mean that you can pipe up again. That's not how things work. Just because I acknowledge one thing doesn't mean that you get to come on and go chiming. Very squeaky. We drew through nice and early. Cool, you can see those bogeys are really having a bit of a good old shake there. Him. 
There we go. I can't feel about um, wagons squeaking at speed, but uh, there we go, that's concerning, I think is, is, is the word we'll use there. So 85.4 of your finest mile an hour. You can shush. Don't need you telling me what to go and do. You may think that you want to tell me what to do, but I don't need you to tell me what to do. I know what to do. I know to press the button. Skillful. Okay, station uh, to have a little hop off at. Excellent. And acknowledge that as well. We've got a double whammy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut that off. Three bits of braking, see how that does. If needs to be, I can always hold it down. I think we should slow down. I've got a mile to go, so I think just bring that back down again. Just slows the braking out. Thank you. There we go. We'll probably just add a little bit of power. Just a little bit more then to keep us rolling as we have a, a solid blue 47 coming down with the local train all right we'll give it the beans yes i know come on come on yes stop shouting at me it's fine all right let's see if that does anything
still through, still, blinded, still due through nice and early. I generally don't know if this is actually going to do anything. I don't know if there's actually anything I need to, I need to press. I'll find out once I get close. Uh, it looks promising. Still going. Still going. Still going. Okay, that's cool. All right, excellent. A little bit of a mixed bag there. Okay, so we've got 3.4 miles to go before we go over our Hollytown Platform 1. We've got a 40 limit coming up, so I might have to be a little bit more forceful on the brakes. Saying that, I've got mile to go. I'm doing 62. Should be okay. And I think, turn that off. I think we should we should slow down sufficiently. I would have thought. Okay, we'll release the brakes. Should be able to just keep coasting and... No, we're actually gaining speed. Okay, fine, I'll just... Just do that. Right. Now we'll release it. Um, point is, point is me actually doing that because it's got... Come on, stop it. Thank you, right. Oh, yeah, of course, against this... Poxy ruddy bridge thing that bizarrely seems to have the world's most ridiculous speed limit installed. Oh, I don't know. It makes sense to them, but to me. Okay. And then we've got a 40 limit coming up again immediately afterwards. So here come the land of a thousand speed limits. Ugh, madness. Oh, no, okay. Of course, because I've set the thing wrong, haven't I? Oh, you. Right. I might as well have not bothered. Must have I didn't really think I was going to accelerate that much. But in saying that, might as well start, well, I've got to start decreasing my speed now, no matter which way you look at it. Oh, 
mil. Got a real nice mixture coming down here. Another 92. The number is not too sure on that one. Okay. So... Now I've got a 40 limit coming up. But I imagine that the signal will be against us. I say yes. No, I don't think I'm going to slow down in time. Don't suppose I can. I'm going to ask. No, is the answer to that question. Please, for the love of God, slow down in time. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please, 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 please. 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 Okay, we have plenty of time. Whew. Thank God for that. And that 92 sounds amazing. Oh, so I've just got to sit here, have I? What am I doing anyway? So I've still got... So, wait, have I got away for three minutes? I guess I'll just sit here then. Not at you. And now, nope, okay, so I do have to just sit here and wait, so, am I then waiting for something to come off here to then go up and down? I don't know, I guess I'll, um, time will tell, I guess, on that one. Turn on again. Huh, interesting. Press fault acknowledgement button. Okay. Ah, this might be what we're waiting for. A down West Coast service. And there we go. That's what we were waiting for. Release that. Right, I'm going to have to give this the beans. that to we'll bring that to 30 go to 45% throttle go from there
hopefully, if, hopefully this works. Right. What we are going to do, we'll shut that off. Okay, we're speeding anyway. Right, now I can release it. It was concerning. Okay, so we're making a ton of noise. You've got a load of coal. 47, a couple of 37s. There is an army of wagons over there. That's the fans cooling down. Same to you too. Well, there's the graduated self lap that just happens. Bizarrely, I think I might end up getting away with this, even though we've got half the train sat back down there. Although we are actually in the yard per se, so... Strange, I, I acknowledged it, you were all there and witnessed it. And, uh... Didn't really happen, but there we go. That's it. You have successfully arrived at the destination. Well done on a good trip. There we go. You can't get much better than that. That was uh, most enjoyable. A couple of speeding uh, violations. That was my fault, completely. Uh, that one, a bit puzzled by, because I've set this thing, but it's fine. But all in all, not bad. That was very, very enjoyable. And uh, that was the first time we driving in Class 92. So, most pleasant, and uh, I'll probably do the other one at uh, some stage. Right, but uh, for now, uh, we're going to head back onto the East Coast Main Line for a while. And what we are going to do, I'm going to try and find it first. Is it even in the standard, or is it, sorry, is it even the grid? Is it standard? Bomb, no. No. Uh, no. Yes. Is that the right one? No. It's in standard. Uh, occasional class, no. Cornish main line, no. That's the kitty. This is what I want. Right, so first off, it's going to be uh, in the old BR blue side of life. It's going to be a HST from Newcastle to York. So that's what we're doing next. And then after that, who knows? It'll be a little mixed bag. So, uh... Thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do get back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And uh, until later, oh, sorry, until next time, I'll just see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.